for Congresswoman Nicole Maritakas, uh, this is not about politics. This is quite personal. Her mother is a Cuban refugee who fled uh, the island back in 1959 on the verge of uh, the takeover of Fidel Castro. Uh, she still has three cousins and an uncle who live in Cuba. Congresswoman, very good to have you. What do you make of this? What should Thank we you. do? Well, you know, in, your, in the report, it said that the government had taken control. We, we actually don't know whether that is true because they've shut off the Internet access that the Cubans had, the little Internet access that they did have to get the message and these videos out. So we really don't know what is going on in the island, but it is being reported that the people were being uh, beaten, that, that some protesters had disappeared, and there's been a, a crackdown by this communist regime that historically has beaten, jailed, and killed dissidents, people who have spoken out against the government. Uh, what I would like to see President Biden do is be very strong and say unequivocally that we stand with the Cuban people against a communist dictatorship and that we want to see freedom. We want to see a move toward free and fair elections, allowing the Cuban people to determine their future. Uh, but certainly for the short term, we also want the Internet access to be put on, allow the people to protest without being uh, attacked and abused by uh, government officials. Uh, and allowing them to to speak their hearts and minds at this moment. It's such a pivotal moment. And in addition yeah. to that, I mean, look, the, the situation in Cuba is so dire. They don't have food. They don't have access to aspirin, to, to soap, basic things. Uh, and that is why they are uprising right now. They've had enough. They are tired of living in squalor and seeing the communist regime take everything that comes into this island and live as kings while the people live in squalor. All right. Now, we have been able to confirm, well, to your point, uh, Congresswoman, that uh, Cuban authorities have apparently shut down all social media sites. They include Facebook, WhatsApp, mm -hmm. Instagram, among, among others. I wonder if you've been able to reach family members there and what they are telling you. We have not, we have not heard anything. Um, and, and obviously, social media is the way that you know, they communicate. Right. Uh, we have not heard anything. And certainly, you know, we're concerned about the status of what's happening there. But I think it's, it's very important right now for Democrats and Republicans. Just put the politics aside. Understand that there are people who want basic human rights. OK, liberties and freedoms that we take we take for granted in this country. And to hear Bernie Sanders blame the United States of America is absolutely shameful that he is covering for a communist, brutal, murderous regime. And quite frankly, that point is complete nonsense. You know, the Cuban government So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. There's an everybody. effort in Florida. Yeah. Congresswoman, there's an effort in Florida among a lot of Cuban exiles and those who are sympathetic. Uh, to these protesters, uh, you know, plight that they would let, let, let and push a flotilla to come and pick them up and bring them to the United States. Uh, I would not imagine that would go down well with Cuba. What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, it, it would be nice if, if President Biden tried to help arrange for this to happen. Look, you can't send money to Cuba because the regime takes it. If there's a way that we can send humanitarian aid, you know, f food, medicine, uh, those necessities, soap, toilet paper, is this a way you can send that to Cuba and allow for that to be given to the people? That would be a major step in the right direction. What I'm concerned about is him doing exactly what President Obama did, which was give away the store, make all these concessions, and get nothing in exchange. And remember, to Bernie Sanders' point, blame, he's blaming the United States of America. They do business with everyone around the world, Cuba, yet nothing has changed in 60 years. So what difference would it be if the United States were to lift the embargo? We need to get concessions. We need to get some change. Right. You know, this is a time when we really need the president to stand up. All right, Congressman, we'll see what happens. Thank you very, very much for taking the time. Thank you. I hope your family members will be okay.